Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use built-in custom CSS inputs for advanced responsive editing. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so uh, in this video, we are just going to go through CSS and how we can use it on our sites. So first of all, I'm going to come over here and create a new page. So I'm going to click on add new. And here we're just going to call this CSS and use DV Builder. All right, so let's build this from scratch. So I'm going to come over here. But before I continue, I'd like to remind you that you can also use CSS even with a pre-made layout. OK, so I'm going to click here on start building. So I'm just going to go with two columns here and we're going to have a call to action in our first column. And in this column here, we're just going to make sure our button here is activated. So I'm going to come over here to link and just add a blank button URL. So now you can see we have a button added in there. OK, so I'm just going to come over here. In fact, let's add a background color here. So we're just going to go with something, um, something really dark. Let's go with the. Uh, Let's go with that. OK, so that's going to be our background. And for our design, we're just going to make a few changes to the button. So I'm going to activate my button here and just give this button a color. So I'm going to come to the background and just give it this red and also the border. All right, so I'm not going to do any crazy designs here. OK, so now that we have this, normally when we design, we would pretty much use this design tab and make changes, add our padding. You know, we do everything in here right but if you want to use css what you would do now is to come over here to the advanced and then custom css so what does this all mean so when we say before the before part is this part here of our module the main element is pretty much in here okay and then over here is the after part all right so let's say we wanted to add some css code into the main element so this is what it would affect and as I mentioned, this will be the after. Now, the promo description, of course, is here. So you can go in and add any information here. So let's say you want to add some CSS code here that that affects the button. Uh, we can say, for example, padding and colon 40 pixels. Oops. There we go. So now you can see padding has been applied to our button. And this is just by adding our CSS code to this promo button. So this is how you'd go in and customize it. But if you want to go specific and say padding top, padding bottom, padding left, right, this is where you would add it. And same thing, if you wanted to add some margins, you could say margin top. There you go. So now we have our margin top, which I've added, which is 40 pixels, which is right here. So if you're a fan of CSS, this is where you would come and add your CSS code. Now, one other important thing that I'd like to mention here is for those of you that use CSS, one of the main things that you may think is the best way to do things is to add your CSS class in this area here. Now, if you do that, that's not going to work because this area here only uses this code which similar to this code that i just added here so the css ids and classes would not work in these boxes here now you may not know this but you can also add your css code in these other device screen sizes so if i click here on this little icon and click on tablet you notice that i can add specific css code here on this tablet view and i can also do the same for the phone view so this is a very powerful interface and uh, it applies pretty much all the screen sizes that we have here so back here onto our desktop so this css code can also apply to all the different modules that we have so let's say if we want to take a look at the text module so same thing if we go here we are going to be able to go into our advanced custom CSS and as I mentioned before the before part of it is this area here the main element is this main element here so whatever code we add in here it's going to change this text and then on the after this is the area right here so let's say we add a font weight here and you notice that I've just added font weight bold you can notice that here it has activated this and it has been turned into bold so we can do so much here we can add all our css codes on this main element and this will affect the main text here so if i come back over here and uh, take a look at uh, our 
font weight, as you can see, it's still on regular. But because we've manually coded in with CSS, the CSS overrides what we have here. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.